Tonight, the new attorney for an NYPD cop charged in the murder of his son is calling the incident a tragic accident. He also says Michael Valva is emotionally distraught and on suicide watch. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Riverhead. Justina Valva embraced outside court, wearing a pin honoring the memory of her son Thomas. Moments after the accused child murderer faced a judge with a haircut, shave, blue suit, and claims of proof that Michael Valvas broke. He received a letter from the city of New York declaring him AWOL uh, from his employment as a New York City policeman, so they have ceased paying him. At this point in time, he is essentially indigent. That makes Valva eligible for a court-appointed attorney at taxpayer expense, which outraged his estranged wife. Court-appointed private attorney that obviously, as the taxpayers, we all pay for the attorney appointed to the murder of my son. And that's not acceptable. A prominent criminal defense attorney will receive $75 an hour to defend the suspended NYPD officer after multiple lawyers refused. Legal aid does not take on homicide cases. The facts will come out and will show that this was an accidental death. Attorney John LaTurco was heckled in the hallway when he said Valva is on suicide watch and is extremely distraught. Valva's attorney thinks a potential jury pool is tainted and doubts his client can get a fair trial here, hoping for a change in venue. Police and prosecutors' words like house of horrors and monster are untrue, he says. The garage was unlocked and a heater plugged in. The space heater was turned on that night and we will have the space heater examined. Meantime, Thomas's mother's wish for body cams on CPS investigators is picking up support from some Suffolk legislators. Particularly a piece of legislation I've put forward that calls for uh, interviews to be videotaped between caseworkers and the subjects that they're interviewing. Changes to the system are underway as the criminal case against Michael Valva and his fiance Angela Folina continues. In Riverhead, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. The defense also claims Michael Valva and his sons have psychological issues and they will address that during trial.